Thanks for checking out this breakfast meal prep. I'm gonna be making two different options, a low carb breakfast as well as a high carb breakfast. As always, with all my meal preps, you can see a complete list of the groceries as well as a meal breakdown, so the protein, the carbs, and the fats for each meal in the description. So make sure to check that out, but let's not waste any time and just get started with the protein pancakes. So I'm starting off with two cups of the Kodiak Cakes dark chocolate mix, and then I'm gonna add two cups of water. If you wanted thicker pancakes, you could add less water. If you wanted a little bit thinner pancakes, you could add more but then I'm gonna take some just cooking oil, spray my griddle, which is set to 375 degrees. If you needed to cook them on a skillet, you could do that as well. But then I'm gonna cook them for about a minute or two and then flip once they start to bubble. And I poured about a four inch, roughly, uh, pancake. I just tried to make them all about the same size. The box said to try to pour four inch uh, pancakes, but you know, I'm not an expert, so I did my best. And then I just repeat that process until all my pancakes are done. And then I'm moving on to the low carb breakfast, which is basically just scrambled eggs, feta cheese, mushrooms, and spinach. There are so many ways that you guys could make this recipe different. You could add different seasonings, different vegetables. There are tons of things that you could do, but this is just kind of the way that I like it. So I started by sauteing some mushrooms in extra virgin olive oil, and then I added the spinach. I put them in two different skillets, really just to save myself from repeating the process, but after about three to five minutes, it should be cooked down the spinach and the mushrooms and then i'm going to crack two eggs into each skillet and i'm going to take half the egg beaters pour it into this first skillet and then i'll pour it into the second one this will cook for about another three to five minutes and then i'm going to add the feta cheese now this is actually the first time i've made this recipe with the cheese in it usually i'll just add the cheese like once I'm ready to eat the meal, but I just wanted to try it a little different this time. But now it's time to package out all the meals. As I stated at the beginning, you can find a complete meal breakdown. So the protein, the carbs and fats for each meal and the weights, all of that in the description. So make sure to check it out. If you wanna know where I get these meal prep containers from, if you wanna buy your own and support my channel and support me doing more of these videos, I would appreciate it. There's a link for those in the description also. And let me just take this time to also answer some of the frequently asked questions I get about uh, meal prepping. So I store all the meals in the fridge. I don't freeze any of them. You could, I just choose not to. I microwave them when it comes time to reheat them most of the time. Sometimes I will also reheat them on the stove. When it comes to factoring the macros or the calories, how do I do it? I use my fitness pal most of the time or the serving sizes on the boxes and things like that. So you can follow me at Water Jug Fitness on my fitness pal. You can follow me on Snapchat. You can follow me on Instagram as well to see all the other meals that I cook up and you know some other stuff that I do workout wise. But I do my best to get the macros and total calories and things like that as close as possible. Obviously there's some variance in there a little bit, but they are pretty accurate, I would say. But that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it. Let me know your feedback because it always helps to make these videos better. I'm gonna stop talking now. Enjoy the rest of the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and I'm out.